Hey Tubes, Curiosity has got me here. Um, first thing I'll point out with this drivetrain is they're clearly lockers. Well, not lockers per se, but they're not open centre. Um, so I'm going to look in the diff today. Uh, let's see. Four screws. One, two, three, four. You see those? I'll pop them out and we'll look in the back of there and have a look. I expect I'll find a solid axle, the crown wheel, and the small gear that comes off the tower shaft. Um, that's what I expect to see inside. And um, nothing wrong with that. That's to have a, you know, people weld diffs on mowers and cars and that. People get diff lockers put in and stuff. It's great. This this vehicle goes places. It's really good. So we'll go inside, take that inspection cover off, and uh, we'll have a look inside the diff, shall we? I have a sneaking suspicion the length of these bolts. These bolts hold the back and the front on but still worth a look we're not going to hurt it <clears throat> they're on there pretty good they must glue them too but I notice the front diff yeah they're roughly put together like they're not that crash hot so we can almost see inside that one. Huh. The things you notice when you look closely at stuff. I'm going to put these screws in the back diff and then try and undo the front diff. Because uh, I heard a bit of a clicking before and it might be the um, the gap between the uh, the gear off the tower shaft and the crown wheel. If I can make them fit together better, um, be a stronger or better mesh between the gears. Got the rear inspection cover off on the front diff. I see grease. I'm very happy to see grease. Grease is good to see. Fairly sturdy looking inside for a plastic creation. Now I reckon I can get the front off too, because it was held on. It's good to see grease. That, that, uh, that's a good sign. Um, let me just stick around with that some more, see if I can get there. Yep. As I thought, a diff, if I can zoom in. It's a solid axle with it, just the crown wheel in, in the middle there. You don't have the spider gears or nothing. So it's a solid crown wheel drove by this gear that comes off the tower shaft. So this tower shaft turns that gear, which just, if you have a look, I've just pull onto something here. I can put that tower shaft on the front. Hang on. The dowel pins line up. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. The dowel pins line up. So these are universal casing where front and back they have the dowel pins. Dowel pins line up. Hey, if I can get the bloody thing right. Give me a second. There it is, on the front. Now, 
I'll tell you where I'm getting here. You could then have another one of these, like grab another diff <coughs> with another tower shaft. Running off the back there, have a second. So if you were, if you wanted a six wheel truck, six wheel drive truck, you could just run the front. Just get another front piece with a tower shaft run it off the back to the rear diff to drive two diffs so that goes to your transfer case down through the diff through the drive to the second diff I'll put that all back together now but just wanted to look inside and when I did that I made that discovery there and uh, oh, it's very good to see grease inside. Grease is a good thing to see. Oh well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, that's awesome, eh? Thanks for watching.